Let's move from East Coast all the way to West Coast. We'll have more rain impacting the California coastline. Take a look at those pictures behind us. Yeah. It's unbelievable. A portion of the Pacific Coast Highway is actually underneath there, but it's supposed to be closed for three weeks now because of that storm damage. And in some places, it's the mud, the trees, the rocks as high as four feet that's covering those scenic routes in Ventura County. I know this is up from up and down the coast uh, down to Los Angeles, and that's not the only damage done. Our Dave Malkoff has more from California. International Terminal 8. Delayed and canceled flights weren't the only problem caused by this storm. This is the master bedroom. That's the living room. This is this is your bedroom here. Yes. There was a massive rock slide in Ventura County. It's horrible. It's horrible because there's so many more things that I could have taken out than I did. Oh. A tornado in South Los Angeles. That's where I live right there in the top of the roof. All that stuff that's flying in the video came from off of there. I mean, we in LA. I never thought that there would be no tornado out here. And lights out right in the heart of San Francisco. We're getting sent home because there's no power. Here in the heart of Silicon Valley, these tech buildings have been hit by a lot of rain recently. Let's uh, use the Adobe building back there to throw up a little Photoshop to demonstrate that this county alone has got 8,029 acre feet of water in their reservoirs just from this storm. That translates to something like 2.6 billion gallons of water. Sounds like a lot, but it's actually only 5% of the county's total capacity. There's a similar effort here in Los Angeles County. In the middle of a drought. Yeah, hopefully it keeps on raining. This is how they collect those billions of gallons. Yeah, all we need is the main ingredient for it to rain, and hopefully it does this season. And push them back down into the groundwater. So if this is just sitting here, how long does it take to get down to the aquifer below? Uh, a couple of days. Just a couple of days? Yeah. This rain won't stop the drought because it's only, forgive the cliche, a drop in the bucket. We take a lot of pride in replenishing our aquifers. It can be a dangerous situation, but folks here in the Bay Area are taking it in stride. In San Francisco, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. All right, Dave, thank you. We're just hoping that the snowpack in the Sierra means good news and it's a snow collection for water later.